I'd like to welcome you to the 142nd Annual Commencement Ceremony of Bowling Green High School. In keeping with the significance of this occasion, we ask that you observe a few simple rules. Please remain in your seats for the entire ceremony. Do not obstruct the aisles. Do not enter the main floor to congratulate the candidates. Please don't enter the floor to take pictures as a professional photographer will be taking pictures of the graduates. Please refrain from the use of noisemakers or any other device that will distract from the ceremony. During the recessional at the end of the ceremony, remain seated until all graduates have exited the floor. Also, please turn off all cell phones. Thank you for your cooperation and enjoy the ceremony.
Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the national anthem. Good afternoon, and welcome to the 142nd Bowling Green High School Commencement Ceremony. Before we begin, it's my distinct honor to introduce those assembled on stage. I'm Francis Crucci, Superintendent of the Bowling Green City Schools. Joining me are members of the board, Vice President, Mrs. Tracy Hovist, board member, Mr. Norm Gear, board member, Mrs. Ginny Stewart, and board member, Mrs. Jill Carr. Also, Executive Director of Teaching and Learning, Mrs. Angie Shaw. Executive Director of Pupil Services, Mrs. Allie Ruscher. Bowling Green High School Principal, Mr. Dan Black. Assistant Principal, Mrs. Katie Bacon. Athletic Director, Mrs. Michelle Wolf. And Drama Teacher, Dr. Joe Beth Gonzalez. Also on stage, the 2023 class president, Catherine Evelyn Grace Ruthenberg. And finally, our class of 23 commencement speakers, Emma Lee Ferguson, Aaron Joseph Mejeritsky, Giselle Carol Lynn Mitch, and Audrey Elizabeth Nestor. Class of 2023, commencement is a time of celebration, but also a time of giving thanks. Thanks to those who've helped you along the way and contributed your education from kindergarten through your senior year. At this time, I would ask staff members to my right and all the staff members seated throughout the audience to please stand. <laughs> Class of 23, join me in a round of applause. This is Memorial Day weekend, and it's a holiday where we honor the men and women who've died while serving the United States Armed Forces. At this time, could you please join me in a moment of silence to honor those who have died while defending our nation. Thank you. Because of the sacrifices those heroes, both men and women, have made along with those who have served, and are serving or will be serving, commencement ceremonies like this are happening all across the nation. And we're able to celebrate the accomplishments of our graduates because we live in a nation, a nation with freedoms like none other. At this time, would all current military members who are serving and those veteran men and women please stand and be recognized with the following 2023 graduates and remain standing. Alex Alvarez, Alvarez Munoz, Mallory Brotherton, please stand, Elena Crawford, Selena Fry Caceres, Colton Keefe, Michael Kinzel, Bennett Stainert, and Jordan Zimmerman. 
please look around and thank these men and women for their sacrifices. Class of 23, in just over an hour, you'll officially met all the requirements for graduation and will become Bowling Green alumni. You'll enter this next stage of your life with the tools to become successful in whatever endeavor you choose to do. You'll also begin this next chapter with a clean slate, or a do-over, if you will. But this time, you'll be creating your own story, which for many of you will be doing on, the, on your own for the first time. Each and every one of you can be successful. You've been given the tools through your education, along with the life lessons you've learned. Don't be afraid to dream. The opportunities are in front of you, and it's up to you to make the most of them. Class of 23, congratulations, good luck, and as always, Bobcat proud. It's now my honor and pleasure to introduce our first student speaker, Emma Lee Ferguson. I'd like to begin by thanking all of you for being here today as we celebrate the beginning of a new era at Bowling Green High School as it begins to heal after our departure from its halls. As I look out at all of you now, I still see you and I still see myself as we were. Some of you I see standing in the mile-long snack bar line in the middle school cafeteria. Others I look at and see playing kickball on the Conneaut playground. I've seen all of us grow up over these past four years, and yet I struggle to see us as what we truly are now, adults. Kind of a scary word. When I look past this sea of red caps, however, I see an arena full of supporters that have been there for us along the way. Families, coaches, teachers, mentors, and friends have joined us today to celebrate our accomplishments. As we receive their congratulations throughout the coming months, I ask that we in turn extend our gratitude to them, thanking them for their contributions to our successes. They were the catalysts that fueled the choices we have made each day, turning us into the people we know each other to be. As we leave this arena today, a new chapter of adulthood begins for each of us. As we each explore a new path, we will encounter many challenges and make difficult choices until we become the people in the stands. We will be the supporters of the next generation as they take over the seats you sit in today. As we age, I implore you to carry with you your supporters. Think of the people that have gotten you to this point and be that person for others. That is how we honor those who have sacrificed for our successes. I have no doubt that right now some of you are thinking of the adults that have made growing up a little bit harder at times. Perhaps you imagine a teacher or coach who pushed expectations that were never truly attainable. Maybe you're thinking of an older sibling that would never let you be player one on the Wii. <sighs> I digress. These people, despite their more frustrating actions, have made us better. As you meet people from all walks of life, remember how each of us longed to be heard at some point during our high school career. Be the person that you hoped for in order to support others. That is how you honor yourself, and that is how we honor one another. We are still growing, and we will continue to make mistakes. We will still ask for support from those that are with us today, and we will no doubt continue to encounter people that make us want to scream. But as you grow, be an advocate for yourself as these people have advocated for you. As our lives change and high school becomes a thing of the past, carry the relationships you formed here as you make your way in the world. More importantly, remember to be respectful to old plumbing, be responsible when microwaving popcorn, and above all, be safe. We may not remember it all, 
but if we remember each other, that is enough. Congratulations to the Bowling Green High School class of 2023. I wish you all the best of luck as you stoke the fires of your futures. Thank you. Hello all. All of us graduating today are not merely just getting a diploma and throwing a cap in the air in celebration. We are moving into the phase of our lives in which we figure out who we are. Our own views of ourselves will combine with those of our parents, friends, professors, colleagues, and teammates to shape us into fully mature human beings. In fact, we're in the middle of that formative period right now. One of the unifying experiences each of us will share in that process is facing adversity. There isn't one of us who hasn't yet been challenged by what seems like an impossible set of odds or who won't be in the future. The lessons we learned were valuable. My own personal experience with adversity includes training tirelessly for two years only to miss the district swim meet by 17 hundredths of a second twice in a row as well as three years of constant losing records and first round playoff losses in soccer. Our whole class had part of our freshman year stolen from us by a global pandemic that we couldn't even control. However, I believe those experiences shaped us. I wouldn't have qualified for districts the third and fourth time around had I not failed the first two times. The soccer team would not have won that district championship had we not lost the first three times. COVID made us adaptable, resilient, and more appreciative of the ones we love. Ultimately, that's what the transition from a child to an adult is, I think. I'll borrow from the Greeks here. You cannot become a mature adult without pushing that rock up the hill. This next stretch of our lives will force us to keep lugging that rock, and I'm confident that we'll rise to the challenge. However, all of those mountains are of a personal nature. Their difficulty exists on an individual scale. Sometimes, whole communities and nations of people are faced with seemingly immovable hurdles. As we, the members of Class of 2023, move to new personal challenges, we must not lose sight of the greater trials facing whole communities. We must each find an issue that touches us and serve outside of ourselves to fight it. There are injustices happening both around the world and right at home that we all have connections to. We all will focus on unique problems, but if we each apply ourselves to solving them and fighting for our communities, we will find the world a fairer, more just place. The war in Ukraine, the nation of my origin, is a fitting example of an adversity that extends beyond myself. Failing to qualify for a swim meet does not compare to practically living in a bomb shelter, hiding from constant rocket salvos. Being the worst team in your soccer league is not even in the same universe as having your brother or sister, wife or husband, father or mother drafted to fight for your survival, risking death on the front lines. That, to me, is what it means to fight adversity on an existential human scale, not just a personal Aaron Medjeritsky scale. A whole nation having experienced so much trauma and heartache in its dark, brutal history, uniting once again to fight an evil which it has never seen before. That's a mountain. That's adversity. We must use the lessons of our own distinct adversities to help bridge the gaps between individual and community. We all have to hone our passions and go beyond our narrow, private spheres to serve our larger communities. We aren't here just to get degrees, jobs, have families, live comfortably somewhere. We're here because we have power. We have power to change things for the better. To quote Howard Zinn, small acts, when multiplied by millions of people, can transform the world. Let's get started, class of 2023.
Hello, Bobcat families, friends, staff, teachers, and most importantly, the graduating class of 2023. We finally did it. Class of 2023, do you remember in elementary school when our teachers would ask us what we wanted to be when we grew up? How everyone's answers were so different and creative, but perfectly showcased who we were at the time. Some of us answered princess, rock star, dinosaur, or in my case, Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz, AKA my all-time favorite movie as a kid. We had such big hopes and dreams for our future. Now the time has come for those answers to get serious. They still showcase exactly who we are as people. The answers now are just a lot more attainable. Now we answer with things like nurse, lawyer, construction worker, or in my case, a theater teacher. We have it all planned out now, or so we think we do. But like all of our favorite movies, life has so many plot twists that will occur with our great, great big plans for life. But I hope whether those plot twists are good or bad, that you can always come back to BG, our home. Sometimes this home can feel boring or dreary, but like Dorothy says in the Frank Baum book, The Wizard of Oz, no matter how dreary or gray our homes are, we people of flesh and blood would rather live here than any other country, be it ever so beautiful. There is no place like home. Our home is full of memories that you can never forget. The memories of Friday football games, homecoming, prom, performing on the PAC stage, whether that be for drama club, band, orchestra, or choir, or even anxiously waiting to see if you or your team qualified for states, for whichever club or sport you are a part of. These are the memories that will live with us forever. We grew up here. We have learned so much together. At Bowling Green High School, I think we can confidently say that we have not only learned how to solve complex math equations or how to write essays, we also learned more about ourselves. We learned how to have courage. We got our brains here. And we learned how to have heart. And now it's time to learn more about ourselves by following our own new paths and meeting some extraordinary characters in our story along the way. We are going to make new friends, discover more about who we are without our parents, and make new memories. My hope is that no matter what, BG will always be your home away from home. When all these new openings on our horizon become frightening and we feel like giving up, just follow the yellow brick road back to your home in BG. It is going to be scary because we feel unsettled as we forage on this new path. But as Taylor Swift, who always follows her own path says, the scary news is you're on your own now. But the cool news is you're on your own now. Now is the time for us to embrace life like our elementary school selves would want us to. Be creative, wild, and remember, there is truly no place like home. Thank you. Dear class of 2023, over the past 13 years, we have been equipped with the skills and knowledge to make us successful as we enter the next chapter of our lives. But not everything can be taught in the classroom. Some things are taught through experiences, through trial and error, and learning from your mistakes. So I came up with four key qualities to carry with you as you leave high school and take on the world. Number one, bravery. We will encounter challenges and situations you may have never faced before. You may need to buy a house or a car, go for the job, or even start a family. 
But if we are able to face these with bravery and courage and without the fear of making mistakes, we can make it far. Bravery isn't just the knight in shining armor. It's having the strength to face a fear or difficulty. It's being willing to ask for help. And it's standing up for what you believe in, even when you're the only one standing. Number two, setting goals. Since kindergarten, teachers have had us set goals for ourselves. Whether it was to get a certain grade on an assignment or to PR in a sport. Each goal motivated us to grow personally, and it worked. So let's apply this to the future. Set yourself up with reasonable, reachable goals because these can lead to all the big dreams we have. Number three, a sense of hope. Our lives will never be the same as they are now because the future can be scary, but if you can dream it, you can do it. Our class has seen some unprecedented times, with online school our sophomore year and the crazy transition back to in-person classes. But we persevered with the hope of coming back together and making it to this moment, this seemingly impossible moment where we will surrender our childhood to the future and turn the page to the next exhilarating chapter. And finally, number four, skills. We have gained many resourceful skills throughout high school. There we made delicious meals with Miss Thompson, dissected cats with Mr. Eiler, and marched the hallways with Mr. Corrigan. But now we are leaving these classrooms behind and entering a new era. And there is so much more to learn. With the rudimentary skills the wonderful teachers and administrators have given us, we can grow. And that is exactly what the next chapter of our life is for, growth. So now that those are established, we must gain them. And this is not an easy task. We'll need a strong work ethic and a sense of determination and perseverance to be successful. Having bravery, setting goals for yourself, staying hopeful through thick and thin, and learning and using new skills. Bravery, goals, hopefulness, skills. B G H S. This school and its many programs have provided the foundation for the people we will become. Many take their high school experience for granted, but with what we have gained from the past four years, how could we? So as we walk across this stage today with the world calling our names, just remember, in the wise words of Taylor Swift herself, it's the end of a decade, but the start of an age. So class of 2023, I am so proud of us for making it here. And please, make the most of whatever this next chapter brings you. Thank you. Don't worry, mine's only like five sentences, not that long. But Mrs. Angela Shaw, today is the day, right now. All of us seniors, class of 2023, are finally going to graduate. And as a gift from us seniors, we would like to share with you the Digital Wall Hall of Fame. We are so grateful and excited to leave this gift for the rest of the school to enjoy in the years to come. Thank you, your senior class of 2023.
members of the Board of Education, Superintendent Scrucci, fellow administrators, faculty and staff of Bowling Green City Schools, family, friends, and those who cannot be here with us today. As principal of Bowling Green High School, I welcome you to the commencement ceremony of the class of 2023. To the graduates of 2023, congratulations, you have finally made it. Think back to the fall of 2010 when you started kindergarten and the spring of 2023 seems so far away. However, here we are. This is the moment you began working towards. Your presence here today means that you've been successful in the past 13 years of school and you have earned a high school diploma. The path to this point has not been easy for many of you, but your perseverance and commitment to your future is to be commended and celebrated. This graduating class includes 96 members of the National Honor Society, one member of the National Technical Honor Society. 63% has accumulated a grade point average of 3.0 or higher with 56 members having a grade point average of four, over 4.0. 79 members will receive an honors diploma from the state of Ohio, and two students earning the Career Tech Honors Diploma. A student has been recognized as in the All-State Choir and one in an All-State Band. Three student athletes have been recognized as All-State in their respective sports, boys soccer, football, and wrestling. Finally, two students were recognized as committed scholars from the National Merit Scholarship Program. Beyond the statistics and achievements, the class of 2023 has shown exceptional talents in the humanities, fine and performing arts, athletics, agriculture, the sciences, and preparing for a career in industry. After high school, some members will enter the world of work. Some will go on to higher education and some will serve our country in the armed forces of the United States, including two who will attend the United States Air Force Academy. Students, whichever path you have chosen, please remain focused on your personal goals and know you have the tools to overcome any and all obstacles with lessons you have learned from family, friends, and your time in Bowling Green City Schools. This class has been challenged in many ways throughout their time in school. They entered high school full of ambition and excitement, only to be sent home later that year. Upon their return to the building full-time, they were now upperclassmen in semi-unfamiliar territory at the high school. At the beginning of their senior year, they were challenged to set an example for the rest of the students at school. Leave the school a better place than they found it. This class went above and beyond and certainly rose to that challenge. I speak for the staff of Bowling Green City Schools in saying that it has been a pleasure and an honor to serve you, and it's been my privilege to serve you as principal. You have been a fantastic group of students to educate and watch as, watch as you have grown and matured into fine young adults. You will be missed. Please continue to make the most out of each and every opportunity that presents itself. And always know we are cheering for you here at Bowling Green High School. Members of the Board of Education, Mr. Scrucci, faculty and staff, family and friends, I certify that these students have met all the graduation requirements set forth by the State of Ohio and the Bowling Green City School District. I present to you Bowling Green High School Class of 2023. Sebastian Christopher Adams. <laughs> Kayla Melissa Aguilar. <laughs> Alexander Gail Alvarez Munoz. <laughs> Megan Francine Ambergy.
Riley Lee Amos. Troy William Amos. Macy Lauren Ash. Sami Guillermo Ashaki. Leah Sue Bonson. Ethan Eugene Baker. Benjamin Daniel Baker. Jacob Albert Baumgartner. Cleora Corey Bear. Whitney Lee Beckstein. Justin Allen Becker. Noah Forrest Benscooter. Calicia Rees Billiot. Alexander David Bird. Nathan Matthew Blasi. Theodore John Bach. Haley Reese Bodnar. Noah Allen Boyce. Madison Nicole Bosworth. Peyton Elizabeth Bosworth. Josephine Abigail Miriam Bowling. Joseph Richard Boyle. Evan James Brandt. Adam Keith Brian. Nora Marie Brogan. Mallory Lynn Brotherton. Kennedy Marie Brown. Faith Elise Buhop. Dominic Wade Birch. James Patrick Cameron. Diana Rose Canterbury. Lauren Michelle Carmen. Madison Jade Carrillo. Hannah Jo Castor. Shania Lee Sellis. Jacob Joseph Center. Camille Hennessy Chatfield. Aaron Joseph Clemens. Jabari Marshall Conway. Robert John Cooley. Yeah. 
Samuel Andres Costilla, Jr. Elena Margaret Crawford. Anthony Calvin Creeth. Esmeralda Janine Cruz. Nolan Ryan Daly. Xavier Alexander D. Madeline Grace Desmond. Ethan Christopher Deagle. Alyssa Jade Demoncus. Zachary William Dorman. Nora Ray Drayton Lamb. Matthias Eugene Drum. Megan Anne Marie Delaney. Stephen Charles Edwards. Lindsay Ann Eisel. Kyan Miles Embrock. Edison James Escador. Isabella Jocelyn Espinoza. Austin Ferris. Emma Lee Ferguson. Lillian Danielle Fiedler. Daniel Fields, Jr. Dylan Thomas Ferriston. Amelia Ann Fletcher. Connor Patrick Fraser. Selena Raquel Fricaceres. Malena Cherie Garland. Catherine Elizabeth Getz. Audrey Elizabeth Guyman. Colin Alden Gidley. Jessica Marie Gray. Peyton Daniel Green. Shaylee Elizabeth Greiner. Abigail Sunshine Griffin. Ivan Matthew Grillo. Zipai Guo. Zachary David Hartman. Brock Evan Hastings. Ethan Thomas Helvoit. Kindle Rianne Hyman. Chloe Charlotte Higgins. Bradley Allen Hill. Natalie 
Grace Horst. Joseph Lane Hover. Jack Martin Howick. Savannah Ray James. Trinidad Emmett Johnson. Felicia Ann Jones Montgomery. Alexia Lynn Justice. Colton Francis Keith. Jonas Michael Kendrick. Keyshawn David Keel. Michael Joseph Kinzel. Andrew Gerald Kaiser. Mary Claire Kinesny. Sarah Lynn Kinesny. Megan Elizabeth Cramp. Nathaniel David Kress. Jackson Paul Kruger. Skyler Marie Kubaki. Caroline Jean Diane Lake. Alyssa Ann Marie Lawler. Zachary Michael Ray Lawson. Alex Matthew Lewis. Cora Marie Giannis. Miguel Ray Lorenzen. Isabel Michaela Lozano. Sydney Renee Moss. Eben Jacob. Magram. Blaine Thomas Menget. Ella Claire Manley. Celicia Cheryl Maravich. Autumn. Evans Nell Marshall. Kaylee Jean Martin. Derek Joseph Martin. Vincent Anthony Mistriciano. Eduardo Mata. Hannah Lee Matthew. Kiana Matches. Nevaeh Lee Mock Johnson. Camden Jacob McIntosh. Noah Lynn Bedrano. Francesca Sarah Meek. Aaron Joseph Medrisky. Edward Joseph Mendeville IV. Mark. 
Magdalena Grace Mazaros. David Anthony Meyer II. Brooke Rose Myers. Raven Alora Miles. Madeline Grace Milks. Celia Irene Miller. Savannah Ayana Miller. Sarah Catherine Minard. Mason Boyko Mitov. Giselle Carol Lynn Mitch. Maya Joyce Monet. Catherine Ziamara Mullins. Jordan Allen Noggle. Max Balbino Nazario. Audrey Elizabeth Nestor. Bryce James Oberlander. Selena Marlene Pacheco. Aiden John Pepper. Riley Marie Raider. Mariah Lene Ramirez. Caitlin Olivia Jane Rashley. Matthew Stephen Renegal. Victoria Nicole Reyes. Macy Marie Riza. Grant Douglas Richards. Stephanie Rochelle Riffle. Benjamin McQuillan Rippey. Isabella Liana Roach. Haley Elizabeth Roberts. Matthew James Robinette. Kendallin Grace Robinson. Evan Anthony Romero. Alec Thomas Ross. Daniel Lee Reese. Estrella Faye K. Reese. Catherine Evelyn Grace Ruthenberg. Lila Sante Sabin. Adam James Sadowski. Chloe Elizabeth Sands. Kelsey Lee Sargent. Jamie Elizabeth Sayan. Jason Jebediah Scarletta. Easton Caleb Schick. Parker 
Alan Schmackel. William Thomas Schwab. Kiara Renee Selby. Parker James Shepard. Hallie Michelle Shepard. Abigail Grace Sambarski. Zachary James Small. Adrian Michael Smith. Hunter William Sockman. Mackenzie Brianne Spangenberg. Maxwell Charles Spencer. Jacob Matthew Spies. Bennett Andrew Stannert. Tanner Michael Steffen. Billy Jacob Stokes. Lauren Kathleen Stout. Ashton Riley Studer. Alexander Lloyd Stutzman. Levi Austin Swalls. London Marie Thompson. Tyler Kenneth Thompson. Ethan Lane Thurber. Savannah Ray Tipton. Maggie Ann Titus. Jackson Gaylor Triggs. Maxwell Scott Uren. Aiden Thomas Wade. Abraham James Weldon. Bridget Michelle West. Andrew Scott White. Antoine Lamont Wiggins Jr. Francis Earl Wilson II. Mackenzie Nicole Wilson. Caden Monroe Wisniewski. Daniel Robert Zamaripa. Jordan Daniel Zimmerman.
Ladies and gentlemen, the class of 2023.